Miller, this situation is out of control and dangerous. Johnson, I'm calling it in. Headquarters is ready to send military back up on my word. Stay focused. She is the key to the source. She's always been the key. Yeah, well, I don't think she's here alone. Jackson! Agent Johnson, file 69232B. Constant 24-7 surveillance so far has garnered nothing but mundane daily life. Dr. Luisa Moreira? Dr. Luisa Moreira. Moreira. You must be Dr. Jones. Yes, but you can call me Vincent. Please sit. I'm part of a team of experts in various disciplines. Your background in psychology and cultural anthropology, plus your work in South Africa, is exceptional. We all came together to help solve a case or outbreak or... I don't know what it is. I've decided to keep a video record of all facts and findings. It's been very crazy lately. We just received another victim. So are they victims or infected? How much have you been briefed on? Not much. Authorities up and down the East Coast thought they were dealing with some sort of serial killer, I guess. Well, bodies have been showing up along the Eastern Seaboard, maybe beyond. Police were discovering bodies. Skulls smashed. Parts of the brains missing. But the timelines didn't match up. The victims, six at first, all died within roughly the same time period across several states. Law enforcement officials shared information and determined. Sheriff Williams, yep. what are these guys doing here? Oh, it's okay. It's the press. I called them. Look, I'm going to warn you now. It's not a pretty sight. We've been sharing information with other law enforcement officials. What has been determined that a single killer cannot do all this. There's no serial killer. It's not one person doing this. You see what's on this landscape here? Earlier today, I found two women at a campsite. First, they were alive, and just like that, they both dropped dead right in front of me. There's some crazy shit going on here, and the public needs to be aware. You got to know what's going on. Be aware. I'm just seeing this all along the shore. Some kind of crazy cult just chopping people's bodies up and eating their brains out like some type of devil worship. The skulls weren't smashed in. They had burst outward. I'm presenting you something. I was contacted to join this team. I and the others are trying to explain the phenomenon from every possible angle. I was told that the body that arrived today was of a college student. Yeah. Uh, the police gave me uh, some videos and materials for you to look at. What's that? All of this facility is recorded, including this office. I were being monitored. Think of it as like a black box on a plane. Unless the plane goes down, then the box is retrieved. Is that legal? You're working for the US government now. I have a lot to do. I'll see you later, and maybe we can have lunch? Yes, of course. OK, bye. The victims share nothing in common that could help us pinpoint the motive or cause of death. Then, we got these videos from police in Montauk. You ready? Oh, yeah, yeah, dude. Uh, just go ahead and roll. Okay. Three, two. Homelessness, often considered to be a symptom of urban blight, but here in the tranquil beaches of Montauk, New York, away from the cities, away from the attractions, we find society's unfortunate citizens finding themselves to be outcasts and alone. While their surroundings may in fact be nicer, the plight is not any easier. My colleagues don't see any relevance, but I, maybe it's nothing, but 
but it's interesting. Oh, excuse me, sir. Oh, 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 sorry. Look, it's okay. Shooting documentary. All right, we just want to ask you a couple questions. Would that be, would that be okay? Um, uh, look, we're, we're terribly sorry to bother you. We just want to ask you a couple questions. You know, we're just interested in how you got here, how you got in this predicament. No. Who put me here? Who put you here? They took mommy. She was good at numbers. And they left what was left of daddy. They left me on the boat for 10 years. And they took and they gave. They gave mommy back, but not to me. They gave me a gift. They gave me a job. They said I wasn't worthy. They said it was for someone special. My analysis, plus any evidence that comes my way. In this case, the first video is the beginning of a student film. This project was your idea. I swear, if this film fucks up my class grade, I'm gonna kick your ass. Oh, you're gonna kick my ass, dude? Just man up and talk to him. Dude, big talk for the guy that's safe behind the camera. You know what, why don't you try coming this side, talking to the crazy person for once, huh? Are you serious? Huh? Yeah, I'm definitely serious. Stop being bust fucking serious? Yeah, stop busting my balls and hand over the camera, or are you all talk? Could it be a really clever killer who did something to the bodies to make them seem less like homicide. They tell me what to write, and then they tell me to wait. Good. The teachings for him, the gift. The gift is for you. For me? Yeah. Well, sir, what are you talking about? It was always yours. Oh my God, Ben, stop with this guy, man. I wanna go home. Dude, I wanna get this over with. There's already past deadlines. They're in my head. <laughs> Dude, come over here. Check this out. I think there's actually something in here, like some kind of funky snake. Some kind of natural buildup within the victims, brought on by something, a poison. A disease. A parasite. Oh! Ah! For the student found on the beach, the cause of death matches the other cases along the coast. As for the homeless man, the homeless man is still missing, but his book came to us with the videos. My colleagues have no interest in it. <laughs> you think this is funny? <laughs> you think this is funny? There's two people in that video. Now one's dead, worse than dead. One we can't find, and there's you. Look. Now, you gotta understand how this looks. You and your friend disappear for a week. Now we find him dead on the beach. And, you know, that's how we found him. And then we find you wandering around the streets. You see? Doesn't look good. What'd you think? How's it going? What do you think? <laughs> good. <laughs> I need some help here. You gonna help me here? Lucas, you gonna help me here, okay? We found these books with the body. They were stolen from the New York Public Library. Any idea why? The books on um, history, um, space travel, and physics. But we checked, and he doesn't study any of those subjects. He's focused on film class, just like you are. So why would he steal them? Answer him, kid. Was he on drugs, maybe? He was on drugs, maybe, and, and he was trying to sell these books and make some quick cash, maybe? Some fast cash? Yes, no? Okay. Lucas, we found the video. Okay? We saw the video. Found it, and we saw it. We do not think that you had anything to do directly with your friend's murder. But you need to help me here. 
you need to help me here or I'm going to jam your ass up and I'm going to put you in prison. And you're not going to do well in prison, Lucas. You're going to be a piece of chicken in there. I'm going to pass you around like a mother piece of tissue paper and blow their noses in you. Is the homeless guy dead too? Did he attack you and then you killed him in self-defense and panicked and left the body somewhere? Speak up, kid. You can't tell me who the other guy in the video is? You can't? Okay, listen. What the f*** is this then? What's this thing? Because you were holding on it for dear life when we jammed your ass up. As far as we can tell, it's the same one he has in the video. So how did it come to be in your possession? That's hard to explain. That's going to be a f***ing jury's ass up, man. Put you in prison. The book was... Yeah, take a breath, all right? Relax. Nobody's here to hurt you, man. Relax. Take a break, Jay. Take a break. Take a break. Take a break. Oh, what the f***? Okay, Lucas, it's okay. It's okay, man. Hey, hey, hey. relax. Right. Relax. Okay, come on. You, 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 don't, you don't want to do this. You want to do this? You want to kill me? Why, why do you want to kill me? I've been, I, I've been nice to you. You're safe here. Lucas, you're safe here, okay? We just forget about you even did that. Just give me the gun back. Just give me the gun. Come on, just give it to me. Just put it down. Put it on the table, forget about it. Lucas, uh, look, look, Lucas, what, your voices? Okay, we'll find you a doctor, we'll get rid of it. I've done some research about the beach in Mantak, the same area where the police discovered the student's body. The homeless man talked about losing his parents a decade ago. Back then, the Coast Guard came across a small yacht drifting offshore near that beach. Hey, Tommy. Come here, buddy. Let me show you how to do this. Be careful, that's sharp. Okay. All right. All right. You got it? <laughs> Come here, be careful, I said. You know, poke your eye out. Okay. So you want to put your thumb on this so you don't lose the line. All right, push this back. Go out into the water. What would happen so if ahead. you don't put it on? Um, you can put your finger there. Well, it'll go out faster than you want it to and maybe... Use all of it. Yeah, use all of it and tangle up. According to the report, the boy claimed his father was killed and his mother abducted. But he was in a state of shock and couldn't provide any details. There you go. Now hold on tight. Here, wait, let it. You gotta, you gotta tease him with it a little bit. You know? You have to feel it. See, the best part of fishing is just being out here and feeling the wind in your hair, feeling the boat move on the water. Look at the view here. Isn't that cool? Yeah. No follow-up reports. No names are given. I hit a dead end. There's a brief mention that the mother was a renowned scientist. There's some speculation that perhaps she was kidnapped. No cause of death for the father is given. There's a note that the boy was hospitalized. Either people aren't talking or the right files didn't survive. The family's identity is a mystery. I can't prove this. But what if the homeless man was the boy on the yacht? Grown-up, the Coast Guard report does match elements of the homeless man's story. Could he have slipped through the cracks over the years, bouncing from hospital to hospital, until all recorded proof of his existence disappeared? If the boy 
up to be the homeless man. Maybe his parents were the first victims of whatever it is. Could the thing in the jug have something to do with all this? She's here now. She already started. We know what to do. Make sure she completes her task. We'll make sure that nothing interferes with this mission. Everything's depending on it. Thank you. So how did your meeting with Jones go? You know, he's a suit. He may be watching this, you know? He's a great guy. You have no idea who's watching this. No idea. Let me tell you something, Johnson. I have seen my share of crazy in my time. Classified shit that would make your hair turn white. The people out there saw what we saw and know what we know. There would be panic in the streets. It's what they don't know that has kept them safe. Think about that. But this, this is something else. This, this is the big one. And once Uncle Sam gets his handle on it, germ warfare, special weapons, they'll never f with us again, ever. And you and me, Johnson, we were there from the beginning. The day that everything changed. continuously monitoring the subject. It is my opinion that she seems to have a sense of being watched and has developed some sort of paranoia of her surroundings. She seems overwhelmed, showing signs of fatigue and physical deterioration. I am unable to deduce that this could be the reason Dr. Louisa has been suffering numerous headaches, which appears to be escalating as time passes. These headaches have become noticeably more severe. The others here at the facility, they are baffled and scared. This epidemic is reaching everyone and no one has a clue yet. They are dismissing my theories. So what you're suggesting is that we're dealing with some giant prehistoric parasite. Just look at the video. With the film, student, you can see some kind of large worm leap out of the jug. After that, he ended up at the beach, dead, like the others, like something had forced its way out of his head. Look, I don't know what you think you're seeing in these videos, because there is nothing conclusive showing any worm or anything attacking anyone. There's a black blur. That's it. Don't what? you get it? These worm-like organisms force their hosts toward water. And that's happening with the victims in these cases. They are moving toward water. If you want to talk to someone about parasites, I have an entire group dedicated to that field. But you, you're supposed to be working on the brain. Here's the thought. Whatever is happening to these people is causing brain damage. So they start doing unexplainable, irrational things. Simple. So you need to stop looking for some bigger conspiracy. The homeless man, crazy or not, they have managed to bury facts in here. It could shed some light on why the student took the book, then killed himself. I'll start reading it tonight. It couldn't hurt. High Command wants to document our early movement, so keep glasses on record at all times. Copy that. 
The subject is leaving her workplace. Hey. Hey. You believe in a higher power? What are you talking about, man? Higher power, man. Greater good. Something bigger than us? <laughs> what are you, high? Because I could use a pick-me-up. What you got? I'm talking about life. 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 Life with a purpose. I... I have a purpose. Oh, yeah? Does it pay money? The rewards are endless. Bigger than money. Oh, yeah? Yeah. When I was 10, I thought my life was over, man, because they, they took my mom for a grand mission. But now I realize it was, it was an honor, man. I was chosen. I'm gonna usher in the dawn of a new age. Look, man, I, I talk to crazy dudes all the time. <laughs> but you're sick, man. <laughs> I know of a free clinic you can go to. What if I told you I can get you anything you want? Better life. Better everything. I'm listening. Yeah? What if I told you all you had to do is look in the water? Just in there. Closer. You see it? Whoa. I do see something. What is it? Everything. Kind of. Touch it. Kind of freaky. Thank you so much for volunteering for our new world order. Your time will be beneficial to you and to us. Mostly to us. We did good tonight. Huh? Son away. I'll protect her. I've been examining this book. Well, if you can call it a book, it completely lacks a coherent narrative. Makes no sense. It's just disjointed writing and crude drawings. Yet I've spent days, weeks, going through it. And there's something there. Uh, something I can't quite put my finger on. It's like, if you weren't careful enough, just as you were about to see something, you'd lose it. It would be gone, and you'd have to start all over again. And that's where I feel like I am now, squinting at the pages, on the cusp of something, then it's gone.
But there are some things in here that seem to tie to it all. The all of it. As I examine the pages, I get this sense of deja vu. And when I look at that image, it makes me think of that thing in the jug. Yes, I'm Dr. Vincent Jones. It's 10.35 a.m., March 7th, and I'm here in autopsy room 3B. Who are these girls? Jane Doe's according to the file. The poor chicks were fined 24 hours ago. They were camping by the lake. Who found the bodies? The local sheriff. And where is the sheriff now? Not sure. He disappeared after the delivery of the bodies. So what else do you know what caused this? There's a report. You got anything else? We took some CT scans when they were delivered. The scans are over there. There's something in her forehead. What? Help get, me! Get the funny Get out of here! This! Do we need to contain this situation? Yes. We cannot have this effect or interfere with our primary target. Affirmative. I'm on it. Another video came in. I made sure I got it. My colleagues haven't seen it. They have the bodies. But I don't know if they are ready for this. I'm not sure any of us are ready. You're shooting my ass, aren't you? Huh? Oh, maybe. You are such an idiot. What? Are you speaking? I can't really focus on you right now. I said that you are going to be sleeping alone tonight. Oh, OK, cool. Keep that up, and I won't let you do the woman job, <laughs> cleaning all the fish. Hey, we're almost at my uh, secret spot there. Um, I hate to burst your bubble, Mr. Manley, but your secret spot isn't so secret. What? Let me see. My colleagues are focusing on the bodies but not the circumstances surrounding their condition and discovery. I begged them to look at the book, at the videos, and they dismissed me. But that hasn't stopped me. Well, what do we have here? Finders keepers, I guess, huh? Hey, maybe we should go somewhere else. I mean, if that guy comes back and sees us messing with his stuff, he might get pissed, you know? He's not coming back. Look, he left his stuff. It's just a bit weird because this rod is very expensive. Hey, Ansel Adams, why don't you come in I... for a close shot, huh? Look at this shit. Maybe he's off in the reeds going to the bathroom. Can we Off please, in the please? reeds, babe? Come on. I mean, look. This ice is all melted. This beer is... Oh, my God. It's warm. He ain't coming back. OK, Sherlock, now that you've used your CSI skills to give us a time of death on the beer, can we please go? All right, come on. Come on. No, come on, right now. Let's get out of here, please. Thank you. They found a fisherman. No one reported him missing. But poor colleagues said 
He had taken a week's vacation to go fishing. Uh, he was a really good guy, uh, very reliable, fun to hang out with. You know, typical everyday guy. Saw him about a week and a half ago. He turned me on to this great new fishing hole. Uh, went there, had a few beers, you know, normal guy stuff. This is it. My new private fishing hole. <laughs> Don't let the chain fool you. Perfectly legal to be in here. Mm. I don't know what we're gonna catch first, a fish or a buzz, but I guess it really doesn't matter, right? Mm. This place is great. I mean, they just found his body, his skull was cracked open. His brains were exposed. Never seen anything quite like that. Well, why did he leave his things? It's weird, he was like trying to cook a fish over there. There was bones and shit, but there was like worms in the ash. I think we get the Look, someone's coming! <gasps> What's the matter with this guy? Maybe he's hurt? I don't... Hey, buddy, was that your back there? I'm sorry, we just didn't... Jesus yeah, Christ! I'm sorry, man. What the... <laughs> Authorities discovered his body. They also discovered the camera and the young man. The young woman from the video, she wasn't found at the scene. She turned up days later. She tried to steal someone's tablet computer. Walked into a coffee shop saw the tablet sitting on a table, picked it up, walked out. Cops caught her right outside. She didn't resist. She didn't say anything. She still hasn't. When authorities found out she had been flagged, they brought her here. They just got done fighting over the two corpses. Now there is a feeding frenzy over her. But I think they are wasting their time. The answers aren't in the bodies. They are in the book. In the videos. And I think I may have found... a connection. We have reports of the phenomena in every country with shores along the Atlantic. And it's spreading. We had our first U.S. case in London. What happened? Poor bastard. Supermarket in Buffalo, a guy worked in the seafood section, stabbed his co-worker to death. He was caught at a bus station trying to get to Syracuse. He offered no resistance, just like the girl. If you let me talk to the girl, I can't try to understand what's happening to the victims mentally. I can't try to find out what's compelling them to the beach. We're moving the specimen today for tests. No team members getting near her without protective clothing because we don't know what we're dealing with. I know you're working hard, but you need to stop these theories, okay? You need to get something to eat. You need to get some sleep. You need to call your family. You need to... Wait, are you recording this conversation? I'm keeping a record. Are you out of your mind. goddamn mind? Turn that thing off. Turn that thing off and... I've been put on a mandatory leave of absence. I have to leave all files behind. Even this. I feel like I'm getting closer to the truth. Good afternoon. This is Ann Davis for News 7, your local news. And here are the top stories for today. Six bodies were found this morning at North Bay Beach in an apparent mass murder. According to the police, the identities of these victims have not been disclosed as the brutality of these murders have made some of the victims unidentifiable. According to the medical examiner, the victims' heads seem to have exploded. This murder scene resembles various other murders that have come across the news in recent weeks. The police are investigating any and all connections and we will continue to report any updates here on News 7 as they come available.
In unrelated news, two individuals believed to be a man and a woman robbed the First National Bank on Oak Street earlier today, getting away with hundreds of thousands of dollars. Local police are asking for any information on these suspects. Call the police hotline and do not approach these individuals as they may be armed and dangerous. Is it rolling, Blake? Yeah, it's rolling. It's our money now. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see them freak? Oh, I thought the bank teller was going to f*** themselves. And the lady when I stole her diamonds. <laughs> we took from the bank and the customer for a little old us. <laughs> Holy s***. Fat asses. Holy s***. Mm. Hey, check this out. Blake, get the camera. Get the camera. All I want right, to get a close all right, up. All right, I'll get it. Doesn't this look pretty on me? You sexy bitch. <laughs> so much money. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Alright, put the camera down. I want you to do me on top of all this money. We're gonna go to the marina. We're gonna steal a boat and go wherever the f we want. <laughs> <laughs> Open the door! Open the door! Let me in! What do you want, my It's Sheriff Williams! Let me in! There's some crazy people out here! Let me get in! Open the door! I got a gun! Blake, who is it? I think it's the cops. Let's get the f out of here! Relax, but I got this. What the f***? watch and examine the videos. They'll probably file this all away as soon as I leave. Maybe that's the biggest irony. This was written by a madman. And he may have been the sanest of us all. He was the only one capable of trying to make us understand what was out there. What if we're not dealing with some mindless parasite turning hosts into brainless zombies? What if you're facing an intelligence? What if the man knew for years what was coming? He called himself a prophet. Maybe that is what he was. Maybe he was trying to recruit his student to carry on or help with his work. A messenger of sorts. Could Lucas have had an inkling of what fate was in store for him? Shooting himself might have been the wisest course of action. But why? What knowledge drove him to that? 
put his beans. Why are you filming this? So the police will know what happened. We're not murderers, Julie. Nobody's killing anybody, okay? I just need to talk to him, that's all. Hey, it's gonna be okay. Her husband and all these people, these are people we knew. They went down by the river and they started acting weird. We didn't really want to talk about what we were going to do. We just knew it was going to get ugly. Julie, stay close. I'm just going to talk with him, Will. Julie! 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 Hey! Listen! We can't be alone! We stay together. Stick with the plan, you understand me? Anything bad happens, I'm just going to start shooting. Yeah, let's hope it doesn't come to that, huh? Nick, it's me. Please look at me, Nick! Come home. I got you. Nick, please, look at me. Nick! Come home with me. Julie? Julie, step away from him. That is not Nick. What are we gonna do? I don't know, just stay calm and be quiet. What the f is this? I don't know, just keep your eyes on him. Hey, I got a real clear shot. No, not with Julie there. You can see it in the video. I get the best shot of it, but it's big, dark, cloudy, and it's just sort of writhing around. Julie, get away from him! What? Hey. So, I made it to the truck. I'm the only one. It was like one big hive mind serving that thing, whatever it is. But I saw it. We saw it. And it's on the video. I don't know what that thing in the water was, but whatever it is, God have mercy on our soul. Subject returning to the workplace situation normal. What about the casualties or the specimen? They're not the mission. Staying on target. The patient. The specimen. Whatever you want to call her. Escape. No one could have guessed. She was capable of violence. She sent two to the hospital. Killed two more. My supervisor was among the dead. I'm not going on mandatory leave. After all, he never got a chance to put in the paperwork. The few remaining team members are debating how she did it. You sound like a bunch of pregnant You're crying about this and this. Frank's dead. Ah! Ah! If they're dealing with an organism that powers into the brain, control the host. Maybe it can also turn off 
pain. That the specimen may have been reaching for my laptop. She was skimming NASA pages sites of space travel and theory, reading the biography pages for astronauts and astrophysicists. She wanted addresses and locations. What was she after? Who was she after? Was it all just random? I haven't spoken to my family. In ages. I have a husband and a daughter. It's been so long. Stop! Trying to scare me? Can't you think you're funny? Mm -hmm. Play with the baby stick. Give me the mass stick. No! Give. No! <laughs> oh. Mom, I think I'm getting a little big for the swing set. I close my eyes to remember their faces. And I hope they remember mine. I can't remember the last time I slept to nightmares. They're the kind that wake you up in a cold sweat, leaving you wondering where you are, how you got there, not knowing whether the dream was the true reality you just snapped out of. But there is this deja vu nagging at me, but it leaves the impression of somewhere and something wet and cold and old. This will be my last entry. I don't say that to be melodramatic. The word came down. The military is coming to take over everything. I don't know what they expect to find. I guess they are as desperate as I am. My colleagues, what fewer left, are gone. They gave up, retreated. They don't know what they are dealing with. They just know it's winning. I doubt the military will be any more open-minded. Hey. <laughs> Let's get the hell out of here. You! You! They still wouldn't believe me. I'll be gone before the soldiers roll in. They can have this place. They should rot here. I'm going to my family. I'm, I'm going home. I need to show this first. Yo, check it out. What? what? Damn, I don't like. Oh, I don't like this. Why? Why am I stopping? It's a joke. Oh, of course. 
Hey, you okay? Where are you headed? I think I hear and speak. Location, Holmes. Uh, uh, we can give you a ride. No, no, I'm sorry. We can't. Are you kidding? Hey, come no, on, we're, come we're, on. Don't I have no room. In the we're going to the beach. Are my words in right? Am I meaning there too? Home place. Whoa, whoa, crazy lady. No, man, she needs to go to a hospital. Yeah, she just needs a beer. I'm not around. Look, look. Can't tell me this uh, girl doesn't like to party. She's all coked up. Maybe she has something on her. Check her. Guys, this is not cool. No way. I am not checking her. She stinks. Don't be such a. She's passed out. Who cares what she smells like? You know you'll bang her if you get the chance. I hear you and someone understands. Okay. Me. Somebody just give her a tissue, please. What are you doing? What? What do you mean, what? Look at her. She can barely walk. Seriously. Look, I swear to God, if you guys do anything to her. Seriously, what's your problem? What's my problem? Hey, look at me. Jail. Jail's my problem, man. Look, you don't get it, do you? She's in no condition, and if you do anything to her, anything at all, and she reports it to the cops, you're what become such a fag. Oh, f you. Nah, I'm out of here. Whoa, where the f are you going? Anywhere but here. Fear, mother. Yeah, have fun walking. You. Waves by the ship of trees that floated no longer were built. I walked a place among the crew. They meant not my need and disposed. Yours were useless and not ready in the moment. This is gonna be awesome. She's so up. Are you ready not to wait? I'm ready for whatever. Mm. The boy she had kissed was gone. Dude, what's wrong? More. The other boy, the boy who was filming, was lying there on the beach clutching the camera. But he was institutionalized. I was able to find out where, from the authorities, who sent me the video. They told me that he hasn't spoken a single word since being found on the beach. So I asked questions about him and his treatment. They told me he just sits alone all day and draws odd pictures and shapes. They think it's all meaningless. But they also see it as therapeutic. I asked if I could see some of his drawings and they sent me this. A homeless man, a teenager, they never met. They had no mutual acquaintances. They lived near the Atlantic Ocean, but hundreds of miles apart. How is that? They both drew the same thing? I don't believe it. And I don't care anymore. I don't care. The nightmares are worse. Even when I don't sleep. There isn't any escape. I just want to go home. I'm going home.
Yes. Right? Stop who you are. Put that down. I need to get out of I here. I said put that down. Easy, Johnson. Johnson, stand down. You need to come with us now. I need to get out Negative. of here. Negative. The facility is locked down. No need to worry. We're debriefing all remaining staff and collecting all research. I have to get home to my daughter. Hand those documents over now and come with us. I'm not finished with it. We can't risk anything getting out of this facility. What? You can't do this. I'm afraid I don't have any choice. Orders. Johnson, Rodriguez, secure anyone you find. Will do. Reinforcement should be here shortly. Yes, sir. Are they dead? He definitely is. They are too. Are you all right? Huh? You're the detective from the video. Huh? You're the one who sent us this. Yeah. We need to get out of here. Wait, you know what the guy said? Did you hear what the guy said? Reinforcements are coming. It'd be a death sentence to go that way anyway. So, is there another exit? Yeah. Is it nearby? Yeah? You're pretty good. that. But first, you gotta give me that book, okay? What? You gotta give me that book, okay? What? The book has been haunting me. I'm hearing voices. They were soft at first, but now they're getting louder and more insistent. That book called me here. That's how I found this place. I hear the voices too. No, you don't. You're full of shit. You do not. Now, that book had called me here to serve it, to protect it or something. But I said, I'm here to destroy it. No. I tried. You can't. What? Hey, look, I, I, look, I, I, I don't, I don't want to argue with you. I, 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 frankly, I don't have the time. All right? But my life has been fucked up ever since that book came into it. So it's going to end right here, right now. It's too valuable to destroy. What do you mean? I've been studying this. Whatever is going on, this book is the key to understanding it. Maybe even stopping it. Really? If you're saying to me, I mean, are you saying to me that that book, this book here, will make it better? All right, okay, listen. You take it, and you leave, and you sneak out of here, and you're clever, and you get the fuck away, and you live. You understand me? You live. You're not coming. No, I'm not. I was staying to buy you some time. Handle these guys with their guns, okay? I understand that shit. That's what I'm good at. It's normal for me. Okay, that shit outside, whatever's going out there, we're going to hell anyway, right? You want me to. Hell is coming to us. Go! Do you want to try to stop her? Negative. She's finally leading us to the higher intelligence. Yeah, but you know what's going to happen when she goes home. Our task is to observe and report. End of conversation. Here we have Dad, who thinks he's a 19-year-old college sophomore. What do you want? I want to know why you have a midlife crisis mobile. I don't have a midlife crisis mobile, OK? It's, it's good on gas, and it gets me around. And it makes you look like a kid. What do you want? Oh, th I think you're trying to impress the neighbor. Go play in traffic or something. My name is Danielle Bolito. I live on Maple Lane, Middletown, uh, New what Jersey. What is that? I don't know. There was some creepy lady banging on the door. What are you doing? I'm filming it in case you have to show the cop. Cops. Hello? Grab your things. Grab your things. Whoa. We whoa, need to go. Whoa, what are you doing? It's all in here, but that's not 
find George Blaze. We need to head left. You need to get out of my house right now. Your house? What do you mean? What do you mean? Ma'am, I don't know if you're high ah! or if you're crazy or if you're drunk, but you need to leave right it's now. It's our house. It's me. Why are you acting like you don't know me? Because I don't. I you don't. Do? No, look, I have you seen do you. Know no, me. I don't. I've seen you around the neighborhood. I see you jogging before, yes. But I don't know your name. I don't know where you're from. Now, if you do not leave right now, I'm calling the what? police. What are you talking about? It's me, sweetie. I'm your wife. What's wrong with you? Dad? Pumpkin. It's me, it's Dad. mommy. What's wrong with you? Okay, I'm a widower. My wife, her mom died five years ago, okay? No. You leave. That can't you need be. to leave right now, or I'm calling the police. I don't know. I think I think she's high or things, please. Get back. Please. Get back, <laughs> Miss. Miss. She's bleeding. <laughs> Miss, let me help you. Okay, let me call you an ambulance or Run. Me some help, please. Before it's too late. Let me Run. help. Run. Oh. <laughs> oh. the real work begins. What have I done? If that is not my family, so who are they? Where's my home? I just keep hearing it. Home, home, home. Get out of my head! Shut up. Where's my house? It needs to be over here somewhere. I know I live over here. Where's my home? My home. 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 Hey, get up here. I got a truck. This place is crawling with these things. I can get us to safety. Come on. Hey. I'm not crazy. I've seen that thing with my own two eyes. I can help. Obstacle defeated. Subject is free to continue. Help me out. I'm trying to understand what happened here today. Excuse me, please. Oh! 
Took you. Finding what we came here for. Stay focused. Miller, this situation is out of control and dangerous. Johnson, I'm calling it in. Headquarters is ready to send military back up on my word. Stay focused. She is the key to the source. She's always been the key. Yeah, well, I don't think she's here alone. I know now the real reason why the government hired me. They knew I had a connection to the master. After the boat accident, I lost most of my memories, especially of my real husband and my son. It is now, but that's not where it comes from. It comes from somewhere else. It doesn't belong. 
belong here. He doesn't want to be here. It was great from a place you never know. A place you never understand. It was here before all of us. I'm not a prophet. I'm the Messiah. It is part of me equally. We are separate and one. It can force me to understand and that's how I know exactly what it is and exactly what it was. New end. The way it's over. It's time now. Are you out of your goddamn mind? Turn that off. Please, erase all this. Not cool. And action. Open this door! Open this fucking door! It's open already. Great. 
Cut on rehearsal, I'll watch playback on that. <laughs> All Duck, like you're trying to get it out of your mouth. Keep working. Ready, but it's taking over. It's winning. It's winning. It's getting down your, it's going down your throat. It's going down your throat. It's beating you. It's killing you. Yeah, you're losing strength. You're losing strength. Go down. You're losing strength. All right, that's fast. Good 
good. Keep working. Keep smashing it. So just uh, put both hands on the steering wheel for me, and you're gonna like hit it with the flat part of your hand like this, and say mine, 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 keep going, 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 keep going, mine, keep going, mine, keep going, mine, keep going, mine, go, 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 faster, 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 mine, 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 m